then by Tyler Lytle wearing the great uh, mask there. What do you call this thing? Gate. The gators. Right, first question for Tyler. <laughs> Brian Howell's up first. Hey, Tyler, nice to see you. i um, curious uh, you know, how you're feeling with camp now starting. I know you've been waiting for this uh, for a long time, and you got this opportunity to compete, and now that camp is starting, kind of what are your emotions as you've uh, gone through the first few practices? Yeah, no, I couldn't be more excited. It's finally good to get the ball rolling again and, you know, have football back, and we're preparing to play November 7th, and couldn't be more excited and begin after the last few days, and going to keep doing it till that first game. How has your uh, mindset been this year? Is it, do you feel like it's different? I know we've asked that before, but um, now that the camp is here, have you, have you kind of felt different being that veteran guy that has an opportunity to start? Um, I definitely think there's, you know, since I've been here, I've tried to be a leader, you know, by example. Um, I think definitely this year um, I've tried to be more vocal, um, you know, and try to really lead the offense and, you know, get guys going and kind of match my – um, you know, lead by example with a little more um, vocal and getting guys going. You know, it's quarterback responsibility to make sure, you know, energy at practice is right and that sort of thing. Let's go to Adam Munster, Tiger. Hi, Tyler. I know you haven't started a game in college yet, but I think it's seven games. You've at least gotten out there and, and taken snaps and had a few passes here and there. What, what have you drawn from those experiences going out there that, that you've been able to kind of use going into this preseason? Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, at the, at the end of the day, football is football. You know, every day in practice, we try to simulate game situations situations as best as possible. Um, when you get in those game situations, um, you know, live, it's a little different. How you know, having fans there and everything. Um, in high school, played in front of big crowds like that, and so that wasn't you know something that was really new to me. Um, but I guess you know, it's very different running out of the tunnel as a true freshman than it will be as a redshirt junior. You know, those kind of nerves and kind of the off factor kind of settles down um, after being a, you know, a vet at this point. Um, yeah. Justin Guerrero, you're up next. Hey, Tyler. Uh, I certainly don't expect you to, to spill the playbook or anything, but I mean, with uh, Coach Cheverini's offense, just what's kind of the, the vibe you're getting from it uh, at this point? Just what, uh, what kind of feel does it have and, uh, how would you just, in, in general, kind of broad terms, describe this, this offense that's being implemented this season? Um, I definitely think we're multiple. We're doing a lot of different things, and we're doing a lot of different things well. Um, you know, we've, we've been in spread. We've been in pro. Um, he kind of throws in that little air raid with his background from Texas Tech. I mean, it's, it's an awesome offense playing as a quarterback. Um, we've been throwing, throwing the ball well, running, running the ball well. We've been very well balanced. Uh, so it's been fun. Terry Fry. How hard has it been to assert leadership given a situation without a name starter and all the other circumstances involved? Um, I don't think it's hard. You know, it's something, um, like I said earlier, it's something that I've tried to do since I've stepped, stepped foot on campus. You know, I'll be in a smaller role and doing the right things, whether it's in their weight room um, or running, conditioning, you know, being that guy that's always in the front, leading by example, throwing on more weight, running harder, um, and leading the pack. You know, that's something I've tried to do since I've been here. Um, so it's really just continuing that, um, you know, I believe in my guys. I think they believe in me. Um, and we have that mutual respect and trust. And, uh, you know, that's kind of how it's been. Just, you know, continuing what I'm doing. And like I said, kind of step up and be more vocal. Back to Brian L. Tyler, this winter when I talked with John Beck, he mentioned the <clears throat> situational work that you've been putting in. And uh, Coach Langsdorf just mentioned how important that is. Um, can you tell me where you where you are in that regard? Like how comfortable you feel with the situational football? Yeah, um, I mean, a huge part about the quarterback positions, you know, just training your mind and being ready for those situations, you know, where, you know, it's third, third and long, you need a first down or, um, you know, end of game situations, end of pass situations. Um, but it's really just training your mind. And, you know, we try to simulate those in practice. Coach Terrell, we've been doing that in first practices. Um, we're going to continue to do so, but, you know, really just, you know, learning how to talk to yourself is one of the biggest things, you know, I've got from John, um, you know, talking to yourself after a good play, after a bad play, try to stay as even keeled as possible. Neil Welk. Hey, Tyler, quick question about Saturday with 
camp being so compact, four weeks to dis- to come up with a starter. They obviously want to do it, you know, s- as soon as they can. How important is uh, Saturday's scrimmage for you guys, for all of you quarterbacks, to uh, show your stuff there? Uh, it's important, but you know, every single day in practice is important. You know, the you know position competition is not going to be decided decided by one day. Um, you know, who's been more most consistent from day one through the end of camp, um, or whenever they decide to make that decision. Um, but you know. I think on the scrimmage, you know, there's a great chance to show situational awareness, um, you know, in terms of down and distance, what we need here, um, how do you handle when things don't go your way, and how do you handle yourself when things go your way. Uh, so, again, uh, going back to what uh, Mr. Howell said, uh, you know, situational awareness and training your mind, I think that's really going to shine through in the scrimmage. And back to Brian Howell. Just one more for me, Tyler. Uh, you and your brother were in the same boat in that on the same day, uh, your conference has canceled the, the seasons and now you're both back. Um, did you guys uh, kind of help each other through that situation? And, um, you know, kind of what were your experiences like in that regard as far as being delayed and then being able to come back? Yeah, I was a bummed little household. You know, we kind of, growing up, you know, our entire family kind of lives for football and football season. So, you know, it was tough to, you know, dealing with that and, you know, the thought of going through a fall without football is really weird. Um, just put it, you know, kind of thing. Just, you know, what do I do? What do I do with my day? Sort of thing, you know, see, actually night pretty nice outside and enjoy summer a little bit, but you know, I could be happy to be back. My brother could be happy to be back. And, you know, it's great when the big 10 impact ball is playing. And the last one for you is from Henry Chisholm. Hi, Tyler, uh, how was your first weekend in the mini bubble and who's your roommate? Um, so my roommate's uh, CJ Shemansky, one of our tight ends. It's been good. Um, I've had finals this past week, so I've kind of been just hunkered down, studying, um, finishing up this uh, little session uh, for classes. But it's been good. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's easy. It's easy when you have football day. You, you get you get back later, and you're just so exhausted. You fall asleep at nine o'clock, no problem. <laughs> Hey, Tyler, well, thanks for joining us, and we will re- revisit with you soon in the future. Thank you. Appreciate it.